This tutorial is part of a series of several videos that dive into Oracle R12's new features. Additional videos can be found on IT Convergence's website as well as on our YouTube channel. Hello, my name is Anne Risto and I'm a Managing Principal Instructor with IT Convergence. Today I want to show you how to use the new feature of eBusiness Suite Release 12 Receivables which is refunds for customers. Refunds, we will begin on the receipt screen. So at the beginning of this, we will go ahead and refund our customer $50. And we're, we are going to use the receipt screen rather than any special screen that Oracle might have created. Oops, excuse me. We'll say it's $50. And I am going to refund my customer called Smart Buy. Now, the beauty of this refund, I'm going to click the Apply button. The beauty of this um, refund is the fact that currently in Release 11, if I wanted to refund Smart Buy, I would have to go over to Accounts Payable, create Smart Buy as a supplier, and do all the back and forth there. This is a one, one step or one screen process. So on the apply to, there is a new option called refund. So I'm going to choose refund, today's date. And what is different is once I chose refund, I get refund attributes button. So I'm going to now click the refund attributes. And this is going to pop up information that I'll be able to fill in from Accounts Receivable, and this information will head over to Accounts Payable. So I want to send them a check. And we'll just go ahead and tell them to pay this immediately. How about we find immediate? I'm pretty sure there's an immediate out here. And those of you watching probably saw it exactly the way there it is as I was flashing by. So we're going to go ahead and say pay this immediately. I'm going to choose apply. Now once I hit apply, notice at the bottom it says refund attributes. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. When I hit save, what is happening is the data is now being transferred over to the accounts payable system. When accounts payable receives it, down here next to refund attributes will be a refund status button. So it will take a moment to get this information to accounts payable. Now one of the things I want to mention while this is working is if you need approvals for this refund, you set the approval up using the accounts payable invoice workflow. Okay, here's my refund status. Since so notice I said I have uh, $50 going to Smart Buy, going to click refund status. And what this is going to do is it will open up a screen that shows me the actual accounts payable invoice. Because remember, in eBusiness Suite, you're not allowed to make a payment unless you have a matching receivable. So notice it will show me that I have um, the trading partner Smart Buy. Notice there is not a supplier number. Smart Buy is a customer, they are not a supplier, but I will still be able to pay them via the payable system. So I have Smart Buy, it automatically created an invoice for me, and it shows that I have $50 that is due today because I chose the immediate um, process. So with that, that is the end of um, refunding for a customer. These and other topics are included in our Oracle Applications workshops. I invite you to explore other areas of Oracle R12 and to take advantage of our seasoned instructors. Please visit the workshop page at www.itconvergence.com workshops. Thank you.